The device that OnePlus says is going to be the flagship killer of 2016. And here it is, the OnePlus 2. Let's go ahead and take this bad boy out of the box. All right, so we'll take the phone out and set it to the side right here. Next, we're going to go ahead and take out the user manuals, which are actually nicely packaged and hold tight right here in this. You have the quick start guide at the beginning, and then um, it's got some very good drawings and uh, information on the buttons right there. Very cool. And then the user guide that we will probably never read. Set that to the side. Uh, next, you have your power brick right here which does have the OnePlus branding on both sides, the USB port on top. And then obviously if you're looking for information on voltage and amperage, you can find it right there on the bottom. So that's pretty cool. Uh, next we have our USB type C cable. And if I can get it out of the box, that'll be helpful. Um, let's see if I can pull it out. So what's interesting about this cable is that it's very good quality and that this cable is reversible on the USB side, not standard USB, and then obviously USB type C is also reversible. So you can plug it in your phone either direction, which is also very nice. So I'm definitely digging that. I'm looking forward to this. I need to pick up some more of these, but uh, the cable is nice. The cable is very nice actually. It's very solid. It's got this nice strap that comes with it, which I actually like for keeping it all together and getting it untangled. Back to the phone here, let's slide it out of the protective uh, sleeve. And ooh, does that look nice. Let's take a closer look at this phone. On the side here you have the notification slider, which is really nice. And I love this feature. It's nicely new and added to Android or to the OnePlus 2 anyway. On the bottom, you basically have downwards facing speakers. Which, so you're going to be doing a little bit of cupping and your USB Type-C charging port. Along the side here you have the little thumb thing to pop out the back covers which are interchangeable. The power button and the volume up and down. And the top obviously you can see you have the headphone jack mic pickup. Which is a nice little piece of uh, gray something for the antenna maybe. Right here we have the back camera, Dewey LED, laser focus, the OnePlus branding and this back that feels kind of like sandpaper actually it's kind of rough but uh, still nice grip here we go let's power this bad boy up for the first time I'm pretty excited about this well there you go there is the boot animation wow check that out nice see I've not owned a OnePlus device yet so this is new and exciting for me it's not a boot animation that I've seen. I don't know if it was on the OnePlus One. I have no idea. So there you go. Initially, it looks like it's asking for Chinese. I'm assuming I can scroll to English somewhere. Let's keep trying. English. Come on, English. English, United States. And uh, go ahead and go through initial setup. So I'm pretty pumped by this. I'm going to be using this thing as my daily driver. But let me go through the initial Lollipop setup right here. And then we'll show off some of the features and software on the OnePlus 2. So I was going through this software setup and I saw this and figured, you know, I should really show you guys this questions in this software setup. So it's asking for navigation controls. Do you want to use the buttons right here or do you want to use the software buttons? Um, for right now, I'm going to set up software buttons. It's kind of what I'm used to on a Nexus device. You saw them pop up. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Next. And then here's a bunch of gestures that it's asking you to set up if you would like. So draw zero, start camera. That's kind of cool. Double tap to wake. Tap twice to wake up. Yes, I like that feature a lot on my LG devices. Some music controls. Oh, flashlight toggle. Draw a V. It's interesting that they draw a V for flashlight, but I like it. So we're going to do that one as well. Hit next. Swift key keyboard or Google keyboard. Okay, I, a lot of people like Swift key, so it's cool that that's involved here or included. I really love the Google keyboard, so I'm going to stick with that one. And um, enable shelf. Interesting. Shelf is a new feature in beta. It is a space for you to keep organized and discover the things you care about. You can access shelf by swiping to the right. So this would be like a flipboard or something along those lines. Um, normally not into that kind of stuff, so I'm going to leave it off. 
and setup is complete. All right, there we go. Here it is. Initial home screen on the OnePlus 2. Very interesting. Definitely got the home buttons right there. Let's just kind of give myself a quick tour of this device. Let's pull down the um, beginning here, the navigation. Oh, that's interesting. When you start sliding that, it kind of takes away the nav notification uh, window, which is cool. All right, let's see what else we got. Here's a little button, kind of curious. Oh, huh. Drag and rearrange. Oh, okay, that's cool. So you can rearrange your tiles when you click that. Hmm, nice, nice. It does come 85% battery when I started it, so I'm happy about that. Um, so yeah, so, so far, I mean, looking pretty nice. Um, let's go ahead and shoot into settings. I think this is, for me, the most curious place because I'm always interested to see what they've got in the settings here. And so far, pretty standard. It does have two SIM cards, so you can turn on the different SIM cards and adjust them how you need, which is nice to have that in there, obviously. Um, data usage, more, yeah, airplane mode, hotspot, VPN, network, emergency broadcast. It's kind of standard stuff. Buttons, uh, love it when I see these kind of things. So on screen, nav buttons are on. Swap buttons, do you want your your home and your back button to switch or your recents and your back button to switch? Um, you know what? I, I think my Nexus is like this and that's what I'm used to, so I'm gonna stick with that. Um, backlight, always always enable home button, keep hardware button enabled when using on, yeah, oh yeah, definitely. I like the home button, that's pretty cool. Um, some long press and double tap stuff. Yeah, so some nice customization under your buttons for sure. I love customization. That is really what it comes down to Android. That's what Android's about. And every ROM should have or every OEM should be putting great stuff in here. So we have some gestures. We already saw some of this I showed you in the setup, which is nice. Display, storage, battery. So you can see battery here. Battery saver, refresh. You can look at all that kind of stuff if you want. Applications, fingerprint. I'm really excited to set that up and I'll probably do a little video on that for you guys for sure. Customization, yes, this, oh yes, this is what I love. Dark mode, absolutely. Please, yes, dark mode. Love dark mode, it's awesome. Accent color, I'm a big blue or, you know what, I, I like green, I like blue, it's a tough decision. But you know what, I think I'm gonna go with red actually. Kinda goes with Root Junkie, so. Boom, nice, wicked cool. Love customization like this. LED notifications if you want to get into those. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's really good. Um, app permission, standard for Lollipop. About phone, we'll go ahead and jump into that. There's Android version 5.1.1. And there's your Lollipop, Lollipop Easter egg. I'm assuming it does have the, yeah, the flappy flappy android dude so that's cool um oxygen os uh 2.0 you can see that there build number and yeah pretty pretty awesome so pretty excited about this device really want to check it out let's see what we got in here in app drawers so we have audio tuner looks nice camera standard google applications a whole ton of them oh wait i saw something else oh file manager let's, let's just take a quick look at that Hmm, interesting. Internal storage. Nice, nice. Standard. There's that internal storage. So actually you can see your internal storage. It's a 64 gig model I have here. Internal storage is 52.97 gigs. So 53 gigs basically for uh, internal storage on a 64, uh, 64 gig unit. There's the Swift keyboard that's built into this, Google Wallet, other Google applications. This is very, very stripped down, very basic Google stuff. So, um, yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Oh, wait, that did have a little X button. Oh, love it. Close all those things out. That's needed. Big, big improvement over stock Android, actually, for the uh, OS here. So that's pretty cool. Standard stuff. You can see the little theming of the red in different places along the applications. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the overview. Um, I'm, I'm liking it so far. I'm excited to play with this some more. 
and uh, definitely do some more videos on the OnePlus 2 for you guys for sure. So that's going to be kind of a quick walkthrough, first impressions here of the OnePlus 2. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more coverage on this thing because I'll be covering everything, all development that's happening on this phone. I'll be using it as my daily driver for sure for at least a couple of months, I would assume. Just depends on anything new comes out. You know, there's new stuff constantly, so we'll see how that goes. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more coverage on this device, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.